New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. Today we're going to be looking at a pretty useful tool, and this is an oil extractor. There are certain situations where you need an oil extractor, where you can't get to a drain or a drain doesn't make any sense. An oil extractor will allow you to suck that oil out. This one is made by ZooYL, and they call it the Elephant. ZooYL is an interesting company. They like to build and improve on existing ideas, and they have made a pretty robust pump, and I'm excited to take a look at it. I did talk to ZooYL about this product and they did send it to me so I could share it with you guys. And this particular pump is pretty cool because it can be pneumatically controlled or you can use a pump handle on top. In the box you will find three different size vacuum hoses and an air fitting with a valve. The only assembly you will need to do is to attach the fitting to the T-handle. Located off to the side is this little piece of metal and what that's designed for is so you can put your foot on top of that and work the T-handle on this pump that way it doesn't want to come off the ground. Looking at the top of the pump here is the T-handle itself. There is a vacuum gauge down here in the bottom so you can see if it's working. This is the port that you would plug those vacuum lines into and when you pull this top off it doubles as the spout. It has a nice little pointed spout so you can pour it into another container. The container of the pump has a capacity of eight liters. That works out to just about eight and a half U.S. quarts. There is a safety flow inside. What that does is it makes the pump shut off in case you were to overfill this with fluid. These pumps actually work via vacuum. When you're pumping the handle you're actually putting a vacuum inside this container and that vacuum is what pulls the oil out of your engine and inside this container. If you're using the air compressor it causes a Ventura effect as it passes across the T also putting a vacuum inside this container. But I suppose the question in everybody's mind is how well does it work? Well, we're gonna find out. So we're in the back of my boat and this is a perfect example of where one of these pumps becomes really handy. In the back of my boat is this Merc Cruiser. It's a Ford 302, but there is no oil plug on the bottom of the oil pan. This is by design because the bottom of the engine sits inside a pit and you just wouldn't be able to get to it. So standard procedures on changing the oil on one of these types of engines is to actually pull the oil out through the dipstick. So we're going to pick the thinnest tube possible. We're going to feed that tube through the very same tube that the dipstick is in until it hits the bottom of the oil pan. Now that we have fed the hose through the tube of the dipstick, we're going to pump until we start seeing oil and then we're going to continue to pump until there is no more oil in the oil pan. And you can already see that it's already pumping the dirty oil into this particular pump. So we're going to continue to pump until there's no more oil. And because we've created a vacuum inside the tank, it is still currently pumping. You can kind of hear it going in, but you're going to want to continue to pump to keep the vacuum inside the container up. That way we can get all the oil out of this engine. If you had access to an air compressor, you could put the fitting right on the end of the handle, open up this valve, and you wouldn't even have to pump it. It would do it for you pneumatically. And my local auto parts store allows me to take my used engine oil back to them where they recycle it, so having the spout makes it really easy to recapture that oil. So what are my final thoughts? Well, I really like it. I think ZooYL has delivered a really good product that should withstand the test of time. If you don't have access to a compressor and you need to use the hand pump, you surely can. However, if you wanna use the air compressor, you can do that as well. It works both ways. You can buy this product on Amazon. I will put a link down below. And as with all of my videos, if I ever find a problem with a product that I've reviewed, I will place a pinned comment down below explaining what that problem is. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos and at the very least you might be entertained.